many of you want for Christmas? How many of you want an LOL doll? <laughs> very good, very good. How many of you want slime? Very good, very good. How many of you would like Smurf guns? Very nice, very nice. Did you know that this year at the North North Pole, we had to open up a whole new area just for Nerf guns? And I tell you this, it is a door you do not want to open unless you have protection. You know why? Why? Because as soon as you open those giant doors, there is a Nerf battle bigger than any Nerf battle you've ever seen going on. You see, the green elves and the red elves are battling all the time, having the best time of their lives. They laugh and laugh and laugh and play and have so much fun. Thank you. Now, the LOL department. Did you know that elves' favorite dolls to make are the LOL dolls? Oh, oh yeah, those now are the, my favorite. Very good. The reason is because, you see, American Girl dolls are very big. So the elves can put on their clothes and have fashion shows, but they can't really play with the dolls because they're too heavy. Now, the Barbies are great, but they're also too big. They love playing in the dream houses, though. That's one of their favorite things to play. Mm -hmm. The LOL dolls are their favorite because they're nice and small. You see, the elves can feed the little babies, and they can play with them, and they can put them in blankets, and then they can put them in their nice boxes. They can start the combinations and make sure that they're all nice and locked and secure, and then they can wrap them up and put them on my sleigh. The slime department is also very, very fun. You see, there's giant vats of slime. And on top of each vat of slime is an elf sprinkling in glitter and unicorn dust and all the things that makes the slime beautiful. But there is one elf, Ezra the elf. You know what he likes to do? He loves to pull pranks on the other elves and play tricks. He likes to go by and he'll turn up each vat of slime one degree. And you know what happens? The slime starts to bubble just a little bit. And then one giant bubble appears on top. And it goes. Oh. <laughs> and pops all over the elves. <laughs> and the elves start laughing and giggling. And they start throwing slime back and forth. And they're sliding on the floors. And they have the best time. But they always make sure to clean up. So at the end of the day, they squeegee all the slime, putting in the nice containers. And every once in a while, a shoe or maybe a hat from the elves gets put in a container. But don't worry, on Christmas <laughs> Eve or on Christmas Day, if you get some slime with a little shoe, that was just an elf having a good time. He's absolutely <laughs> fine. <laughs> now. Oh, hands down. Yes. Not yet. Um, do you have a teddy bear department? We do. <laughs> you know what? It's very quiet in the teddy bear department. You know why? Because all the elves love to hug the teddy bears. And any time they hug a teddy bear, they get sleepy. And they fall asleep. Now, my friends, I would love to answer your questions, but I don't have much time. Would you like to see something that I have? Yes. Oh, what is it? Here is one of my favorite possessions. This is the most magical piece I have. You see the snowflake on the front? Yeah. Yeah. This is my watch. Now, this is no ordinary watch. A long time ago, watches were made very differently than they are today. Nowadays, if you have a watch, you can charge it on your, in, by plugging it in many times. You can charge it over a charger, or you can put batteries in it. This watch doesn't take batteries. You wind it up like this, and that's what makes it go. So every Christmas Eve morning, I wind this watch up, it's completely still, but when the day starts, I wind it seven times. And you know what happens? The watch starts to tick, 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 tick. Just like it should. But something very strange happens on Christmas Eve. What? You see the gears in here? Yeah. As soon as it starts to get dark, the watch goes from tick, 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 tick to tick, tick, tick. And it slows down. And you know what happens when the watch slows down? Time slows down. And that gives me enough time to go all around the world and to deliver all the toys to the good boys and girls. Have you ever tried to go to sleep on Christmas Eve and it feels like it takes forever to go to sleep? <laughs> it's because time is slowing down. Now, on this side here, do you see? There's a compass. 
and on Christmas Eve, when this stops at midnight, time stands still, and this compass starts to spark and glow, and it carries me everywhere I need to go, and it lets the reindeer exactly know where they need to go without even having to think about it. You see, there's Mexico, South America, Hawaii, the North Pole, what? even all the different the places in the world. But today, when I woke up, it told me where to go as well. And you know where it told me to go? Where? Right here. With you. Because you were all very wonderful, very kind, and special children. And I am so happy to be able to see you today. As a matter of fact, I brought some things from the candy department at the North Pole. If you would like a candy cane. Would you like a candy cane? Yeah! <laughs> all right, my friends, if we could all line up and